Hi everyone, this is CVGS, it's me, Leon, and with me is... Oh, hi. Yeah, Cam, who is... Uh, he, he, we're slaving right behind, right now. Slaving. Uh, because we opened the first carton. And then with us is our moderator, Rin. Hello, say hi. Okay, and today, uh, we are bringing you the unboxing video for DPT-08 Minerva Rising for Vanguard. This is the Japanese box, as you can see here. Japanese. Of course, uh, the English one won't be out so soon. I think it's some, it's sometime like early yeah. next year. Uh, February, 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 yeah, February, yeah, February, yes. So we'll see the February one. Uh, we'll see the February for the 08 for English side. And but today we'll be doing the Japanese one first, of course. Uh, since we got the Japanese one now with us. Okay. So this set it's a Crit Cross Epic booster set. That's what I'll call it because all the, the primary boosts in this set are primarily focused on the Crit Cross Epic glitter cards. Tegra, Eva. Tamayura with a couple of new right lines as well for both Rank Gate as well as uh, what's the other one? Dragon Empire. Dragon Empire, yes. Then next we also have three sets of encounter cards now have their own personal right line which is the Pale Moon, um, Aqua Force as well as my brain is farting really Genesis. hard. Genesis. Oh my god, Minerva rising and then my brain forgot Minerva! It's on the box! Okay, so sorry about that. Sorry for the meltdown. So at the back of the box, right right behind, it's actually all of the right lines that you'll see in this box, the new ones. So which is, of course, the Kuei, uh, Merusom. And then uh, these two, I don't remember any. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I'm, I'm, this is going off a good start, man. <laughs> so, and then, of course, there's Minerva itself. But anyway, they are the primary focus for the set. But of course, there is another uh, friendly addition to the set, which is the Ghost from Hollow Eye, which is the uh, Miko. Sakura Miko, as I should say. Yes, they are the card replace, uh, the proc, uh, won't say proxy, like card, card swap, right? The card replacements. Card so basically, right. they are cards, right, that is, is essentially replaces the whole entire right line for for Michu from the Lyrical Monasterio set. So. And uh, it also includes Nokuno, which is actually the glitter unit to uh, Michu. So basically, the idea is that you get to play uh, both Suisei and Sakura Miko as your as your Vega, because that's how it works. Correct. And based on the live stream very recently, they also said there's a secret variant of those things. Some of the basic highlights for this set also includes the, uh, the SNR version Minerva, yes. which comes with Zero Code is limited, as well as the two SCR, which is Lukue as well as Miltro. So what do we have in this set has to provide is effectively uh, there's six one box has 16 packs, okay? So we have 16 triple R's, 17 double R's, 20 R's, 43 commons. For the high res are uh, 1 SNR, 2 S uh, SEC, 16 FFR, as well as 35 FRs. Right, that's 35. Mm -hmm. So as well as the EX cards, which will be six of them. So five of the most basic ones you'll see in this box. And then there is a secret. Mm -hmm. And two token cards inside. Mm -hmm. Which is made primarily for Roa players as well. Yep. So yeah, so this is what we'll be looking at in the set. Now of course with that said, uh, we today uh, we have more than a carton, but we'll only be doing one carton for this unboxing video, which is right here. Yeah. So we big old box. Big old box, wildcat stays away at the back. Me and Rin will deal with this one so that he has more to sleep with. So yep. Thank you for the for the honest work. Okay. <laughs> uh, all, it's all in the day of the honest work. Okay, so yeah, with that said, okay, we'll go straight to the unboxing and of course before we do that do remember to hit the subscribe button just right underneath you do us a great help it may not mean much to you but it's mean a lot to us because so that we can come back and do more contents for you guys once again all right of course we are like rising again so we're currently at 8.82 last we checked yes last we checked yep 8.82 so we are so close to the 10k which we'll be giving away doing a giveaway which is a brainwash swallow uh, playmat for you lovely viewers all right so okay, with that said, okay, let's go straight down to the box and we'll see you in just a bit. And we're back! So instead of unboxing the entire carton in front of all of you, because that will take forever and let's not do that. Okay, so instead we will unbox three boxes here um, to see whether we get anything special. But then after that we'll do the rest off screen and then we'll show you what's the end product. Basically by the, uh, by the end of this entire carton. And so that we can move on to do the rest because it's getting pretty late on our side actually. And also, I hope I can pull the SNR out of these three boxes so that I can shove it up in this face. <laughs> okay, so there we have it. This is a this is a on record declaration because Twitter. <laughs> so because Twitter. All right. All right. 
So with that said, uh, let us begin. So shall we? While Cap continues to stay behind, Rin will assist me on this one. So yes, let's do this. So um, as we go along, let's see now. So okay. So this is how the box looks like on the inside. So one of the special promotion for the DPT-08 is also the box topper, which is the four pieces sleeve of the Suisse or the Sakramiko sleeves. Because it comes in four, usually people will use this for their right deck, essentially, for the descendant. Okay. Next is the very pink text uh, that we have for this DPT-08. It's very nice finishing, finishing as well as per usual. Oh, it's like the Japanese quality of boosters. It's always fantastic all the way from start to finish, including how stable their like container is on it on its own. So yeah, let's get let's get started, shall we? Okay, she got Tidal Assault. I love Tidal Assault. Used to be one of the best cards. It still is. Tidal, Tidal Assault best boy. So okay, we got another double we got a double R. So this looks like a Millstrom box and then we got our first FR. Okay, one of the interesting things that we have been seeing is this disaster card that has been showing up a lot. Uh, there's three of them. We don't know why it does. Uh, three of them, the skill is Kanapaswa to play this order card. Uh, search your deck for one disaster card. Uh, reveal it, add it to your hand, and then shop your deck. Yep. Oh. Yeah, that's what, that's like, that's what it does. But the question is... Uh, all three of them do the same thing. There are three different sides, all of them do the same thing. Yeah, but what for? So the question is, does this play into the upcoming 09 villain deck? My our speculation is that yes, it is so not so because these cards have no other users as well, and no other card in this set uh, actually plays with the disaster cards. Yeah, exactly. So that is also something we need to look forward to. So we we'll probably be hogging a lot of this. So anyways, uh, Rin opened up one of the uh, the Holo Life uh, collab cards. This is the starting van the first Vanguard on the set. So, very nice. Very, very nice. Alright, we'll see more of this later. So, so what's the ratio for this is uh, probably what you're wondering. So, it's basically one per box. So, it's the same thing that they did with the 07. But, whether do they give like completely balanced numbers since there's a lot less numbers to deal with this time. So, it should be more balanced this time, right? Okay, so, okay, I got the Rarami. Re -re -me. Yes. Re -re -me. Re -re -me. One of the nice things about this particular set is that there is a lot of cards that's not conflicting with each other because of now the Maelstrom, the Minerva, as well as the Kray is not fighting for the Dual Nation cards. Ah, we also have one of the Tripas. So this is all the Tripas for this box already. And we already had one collab card so I'm not expecting to see a, F uh, a FFR in this box. So we definitely missed that at least. Oh yeah, so I was saying right, was that it doesn't conflict with the rest of the other uh, nation cards. So the, all the dual nations are mainly used to support the already existing uh, Kraycross Athletic decks like the Rorowa, Degra, Chaos, Eva, you know. It's mainly used to support them. I don't know, I feel like I'm missing some part. Tamayura. Tamayura! <laughs> there. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. But I said Tamayura earlier, but did I miss somebody just You now? missed Tamayura that time also, but I think uh. you missed somebody else in the last one. Yeah, correct. I think yeah. missing, uh, my brain is missing. Even Tegria, Chaos, and we most likely be Chaos. Also. Most likely be Chaos. Uh, most likely but Rin said Chaos after that. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so... Huh. Ah, there, there's the Sakura Miko. Remember guys, stay home! <laughs> <laughs> Cook, get a cookie if you understood that reference. <laughs> yep. Now we got a second collab card, so that anyway is one per is one per box, so you will definitely see it for sure. Yo, the more I look at this, the more I really think it's Rorowa. <laughs> Wait, I think it is. It is. It is. It is in the flavor text. Huh? Is yeah. it is in the flavor text? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is Rorowa. Yeah, it is Rorowa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah that's Rorowa. So okay, wife, she's now officially under waifu texting. <laughs> Just like you, you. <laughs> mm -hmm. So now we have lyrical you, you. Now we have, uh, now we have literally lyrical Rowa. Oh, and also Maelstrom. Yep, definitely gonna make a Maelstrom deck. Otherwise, my name is Leon. Wait, huh? <laughs> and it is. That makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, that makes no sense. 
My brain farting, my brain farting. Every time I make an unboxing video, my brain always farts. Yeah. I don't know why, maybe I'm just tired. You know, you know the thing is that, right? Doing this for so many years. Oh, look at it. Yes, nice. And Doing this for so many years, somehow I... Open it I, Oh, it was me? Oh. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my brain's definitely farting. Again, today. <laughs> Every time Leon does an unboxing video, he's farting. <laughs> oh, there. The Sakura Miko uh, Grade 2. Okay, unfortunately, I don't think there is a chance to see the... Uh, oh, this is the... Uh, the... the EVA support. Oh, the... 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 what? The Rego. The Regala piece. The Regala piece. Uh, regalia piece. <laughs> so it might not be in this. <laughs> the Regal The Regal one. Regal Regal. <laughs> you get a cookie if you get a reference. <laughs> is there? Is there? Triple A. Ah, okay. So sad. Okay. So, just based on the three uh, cartons currently, so we have how many Triple R's here? Okay, that's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13. So, yeah, one box is about 4, then one of them had 5. Yeah. Because uh, there's a total of a. Uh, what? Yeah, because 4, 8, 12, so one of them had 5. Yeah. But we didn't count. So, yeah. But of course, this is the. So far, this is for all 5 of the. Uh, for the 3 boxes that we unbox here right now. So. We will unbox the rest of it, and hopefully we do get the SNR or maybe one of the SCR, uh, the FEC. Hopefully so. All right. So uh, until then, we will see you later. So just give us a moment to do the rest. So yeah, yeah we'll be back in a sec, and we are back. So uh, we have finally opened up all the cartons. Uh, not all the cartons, just this one particular one. So, anyways, so we have opened up. The, this current carton and this is the ratio it will be on screen it will be in the spreadsheet up there so as you can see like as before the lowest number will actually be 4 okay then being the highest will be at a number of 8 apparently so um, well once again it's it's a funny ratio so if you want to share with friends chances are if you guys are fighting for like one uh, you guys better be taking like one of each nation otherwise you will definitely not have enough to go around so that's kind of like this issue that Vanga is currently is having, but you know that's how they approach it. But luckily, at least this time, the cards are not pointing over the same things because the new nations don't run on the current uh, dual nation cards because the dual nations are all linked to their pre current existing existing vanguards like Tawayura, Tegra, and all that. So then none of that. Great trees are in here because they are currently have their own new right lines, which is the new stealth, the, the stealth demons, and then they have the the other Eva thing, Miss Up White, is it a name? And then uh, of course we have Maelstrom, Lecrea, and Minerva as well, which do not use any of the donation cards, but you can still play them in those decks if you wish, if they falls in line with what you play. Okay, next also you will probably want to know is the ratio for the Hololife uh, collab cards is that they are a playset uh, in each carton apparently because it's one per box and because it's not like the BTO server with the whole trigger situation so they are able to base it out nicely with just a play with just nice one playset within a carton so but we didn't have the secrets for this round so means chances are one of the cartons if we do get a secret it will be categorized as like it will, re it will replace one of them and then uh, of course there is the generic order card which allows like one time personal right even without writing and you can play one copy in the, in your deck as well so the regalia it's uh, I only got five here so that's about a ratio so because you can only run one in your deck anyway so there's no reason for you to have like more than you should so this is at least the least of your worries at least uh, yeah, and as for the double R's also falls in the same category of having only 4 of its lowest, 8 on its highest number as well. So again, if you are buying for one person worth, so it's enough, but however anyone wants to share with you, you will run into problems. And of course, the, here's the FR, of course, and we got all 3 FFR's here, so okay. so. Based on our, last, our first carton that we opened before this one, 
we actually only have like you know two F two FFRs and one SEC uh, which is the liquid uh, which I won't bring it over because it's currently in sorting out with cat right now so I'm not gonna disturb him for that. Uh, however, as you can see for this one, uh, I got three triple I got three uh, FFRs. So again, the number seems to be appear between the two to three or four number again. So, which is weird, I don't understand why they don't fixate it like that. And they keep putting it between the 1 to 3 to 4. I don't know what's the reason, but of course, being that also means the there's more value in the FFR. They are more they are more worth the time to go and hunt them out if you really want to like fully blink out your deck, that is. So, yeah. And that is all for the unboxing. So if you wish to find out more about the cards, you can go and read up on the uh, wiki, PD, uh, the wiki, the Kafai wiki. Yep, uh, which there were also uh, where people who put a lot of effort into putting up all the card skills and all the names as well. So you can go there. But however, for anything else that is related to our content, you can of course remember to subscribe again. The subscribe button is just underneath. Help us reach to 10k, and we can continue to do more contents for you. So follow us on all our socials, which is like our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as our Discord server, where you can talk to other players and other fighters about Battle Spirits, Vanguard, anything that you wish to talk about there. Except maybe, uh, please make sure it's appropriate, naturally. Of course, you can catch Cap on his Twitch, which uh, uh, on our Twitch channel, which he'll be playing all kinds of random games whenever he feels like today. So, yeah. yeah. You can also check out our Juicy Tuesday 2 as well as our card game Sunday also. So, you want to see some card game in action? Yep, but, uh, on Twitch is the same to be Yep, yep. And of course, uh, just give us some time to like practice our Japanese so that we don't need a translator every single time. <laughs> so, okay, that's one. Okay, next is also I'm still again the. the I still don't have time to pound find out how to work TikTok so that you guys have the point hole for that. Yep. So however uh, that is all for today. So thank once again thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye, bye.